Hello, hello. So let's say that you have installed Minecraft, <clears throat> but you want it on a different uh, drive because the Minecraft is by default installed on your roaming profile in your app data folder. So the first thing you need to do is to, to open your roaming profile so by tapping percent app data percent. And here you can see it's an app data roaming. And here's Minecraft. What you do is that you right click on it and cut. And then you actually go to, I want it on my E drive here, which is an old SSD paste. Yeah, my, my Minecraft is quite big, <laughs> my folder. Okay, when that's done, what you need to do now is that uh, when, you, when you try to start Minecraft now, it won't work because it will still look for the folder in the, in the roaming profile, but we just moved it. So what we have to do is create a link to the new destination and you do that with the, the command prompt. So you just type CMD, press enter. And what you do now is that you uh, type mklink space forward slash capital J space. And I will put this command in the description. The only thing you need to do is sort of change the destination folder. And right now we need to put a link in the uh, app data folder, so to speak so that Minecraft can actually start. So that was percent app data percent backslash dot Minecraft <laughs> and space. And now we need to uh, tell the computer where the new destination is. And that was my E drive colon backslash and the folder and it was dot mine craft so instead of having sort of the entire folder now the computer thinks that the, the new destination is actually on the app data but it's not it's just it's just a link to the new destination so what you do here is now that you just press enter and it created a junction so right now you can just Close this window, and if we go to the app, app data here, you see you have got Minecraft here, but it has sort of a link icon on it. So even if I just uh, double click here, you can see that it, it looks like it's on the C drive, but it's actually on the D drive. You know, we actually moved the file, it's over here. So if I go back here, you can see if I right click here, click properties, it looks like it's on the C drive, but it's exactly on the D drive. Because you know, you saw that I actually moved it. I moved the folder. So yeah, that's how that works. So see you later.